Today, I'm gonna to be talking about the best way to record photos and videos from your camera. So let's get right into it. First off, let's talk about the most versatile option, and that is with micro SD cards. These things are super duper duper tiny and can go up to massive capacities of up to a terabyte. So they seem like, hey, if they work everywhere and if they're super small and compact, we should use them everywhere. And that's not the case. Micro SD cards are very flexible and can work with anything like drones and action cameras and a real big photo camera with an adapter. They aren't very fast, maxing out at about maybe 100 megabytes a second which is not enough for recording 4K video or taking lots of burst photos. While they do offer a lot of flexibility, I wouldn't recommend using this in a real camera. The next option, which is probably the most common, was just an SD card. Here I've got a V30 card, the SanDisk Extreme Pro 512 gig, and this is what I'd say would be the most recommended option for budget. You can pick these up, the 128 gigs, starting around $22 and going up to about $70 for these 512 gig cards. And these are awesome, and what I would recommend to most people starting out. But they don't have the best speeds. You can buy V60 and V90 cards, which are much faster, and you would do that, for example, if you need a ton of bitrate, for example, with 8K video, stuff like that. For that, you shouldn't use SD cards, though you can. What I recommend doing instead is getting CFexpress Type-B cards, and this will depend if your camera can support it. While basically every camera supports micro SD and SD cards, more professional cameras support CFexpress Type-B cards. They're much larger than SD cards, and they're much, much faster. About four to five times as fast for these cheaper ones, and even much, much, much faster, upwards of 10 times as fast for the more expensive models. They have come down a lot in price versus their competitors. So for example, a V90 SD card is gonna be about $300 for 256 gigs, while a 512 gig card is around $130 from the same manufacturer and it's way faster. So I would recommend CFexpress Type B cards if your camera can support it. They are a little bit more expensive and you need a special card reader, but long term, you're gonna be much happier because they're much faster and you can do lots of burst photos. You can do any type of video up to even 12K video with these things. They're awesome. Now, the brand I recommend for pretty much all of this is SanDisk. Other cards that I do have and have used are ProGrade and AngelBird. They're all kind of similar, but SanDisk has been the most reliable to me for these cards like this. Now, there is one other method, and this one highly depends if your camera can support it. So that would be external media. For example, a you know, physical SSD. So one from SanDisk or even one from Samsung has been super popular. I would recommend getting the Samsung one most of the time. While the SanDisk ones are super popular, the Samsung ones are metal and they slot into pre-made cage uh, systems easier. Uh, brands like Smallrig and Tilta have a little cage adapters. You can put these things in and just USB-C to your camera. But remember, very few cameras support this standard. Blackmagic cameras do, for example, um, I think some Canons do, but this is gonna be a very particular format. Basically only cinema cameras with this format can support. So this is gonna be the best and cheapest option because it has the speed of CFexpress Type-B, but it's way, way, way cheaper. Around half the price. And you can go up with higher capacities up to four terabytes, eight terabytes, and even higher. So that's kind of the overall thing. Most people, if you're just starting into photography and your camera doesn't support anything else, get a good SD card. I think the biggest thing is just to make sure that you're not using micro SD cards in your actual camera. They're great for drones, audio recorders, um, action cameras, but when you're shooting with a real camera that needs higher bit rates, then you're just gonna need faster speeds. And that's where full SD cards and my favorite, CF Express Type B cards, come in super handy. All right, that's gonna be about it for this video. If you wanna purchase any of the things that I've mentioned in this video, there are Amazon affiliate links in the description below. It doesn't cost you anything and really helps out the channel. But before we go, I wanna tell you about our sponsor. Artlist, if you're a content creator like myself on YouTube or even have a large production company, you're going to need stock assets like music, sound effects, and footage. And Artlist is the best place to get that. With different plans starting with music and sound effects to Artlist Max with everything you need, Artlist is the place to go. If you wanna get two months for free on your annual subscription, check out the link below. Thank you to Artlist for supporting the channel and back to the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you wanna purchase anything in this video or check out our sponsors, check that out in the description below. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video.